This is Second Peter 3 and 9. Yahweh is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy, holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahweh, wherein the heavens shall be on fire, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth, and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Aki, and pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you all right so i just want to go into this lesson and it was inspired by um this dream that my um elder damasha pot um uh, uh did a lesson on his dream okay all right and um you know i you know it, it really struck my spirit you know a lot was said a lot there's a lot to unpack in this lesson and i suggest you i Akim Akwaf uh, watched this lesson because uh, in this dream, you know, things happen suddenly. All right. Things happen suddenly and without, um, you know, warning. You know what I mean? All right. Although we have warning through the scriptures, through, through the prophets, but, you know, something happened suddenly in this dream that was very catastrophic. All right. And as the scripture says, man, the day is coming where the elements shall be melted with fervent heat. All right. All right. What did the Lord, our Lord say? He said, I come to send fire on the earth and what will I, if it be already kindled? All right. You know, and the scriptures talk about how the fire shall be off sent out, man. So, what manner of persons are we to be? You know, and me personally, you know, I've been as of late in a very deep, deep self-reflection, you know, all right, because, um, you know, sometimes we can uh, kind of lose our way. And uh, if the Lord really loves you, he will hit you in your shit to get you right back on track. All right. You know, if he really wants to keep you, if not, he will let you just go on in your folly. And then you will be, um, as the scripture says, what, um, uh, uh, um, what is the day of Lord? Um, let, let, let me just get it. Um, right. This is, uh, Amos five and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, right? Woe destruction unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Don't we desire the day of the Lord? All right. Us men that in uh, uh that are in this truth, you know, and, and women that are in this truth, you know, that are believers, you know. Uh, don't we desire the day of the Lord? Aren't we, you know, us, us especially us men that are prophets, you know. We are, we're out here saying we desire the day of the Lord, right? To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh is darkness and not light. All right. So what are you going to receive on the day of the Lord, man? What are we going to receive on the day of the Lord? All right. Will he greet us as a friend? Or will he greet us as an enemy? All right. As if a man did free from a lion and a bear met him or went into the house and leaned on the, his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of Yahweh be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it. 
All right. So, yeah. You know. What, 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 you know, what is this day? What is this day going to be for us? What is this day going to be for us? You know? So, and I could feel through the spirit, man, that, um, you know, like I said, man, sometimes we kind of lose our way. Sometimes we fall off track, you know? But if the Lord, you know, chastens us into correction, you know, then we have a chance. You know, we have a chance, man, to uh, escape those said perils, man. You know? All right? Because what I'm seeing right now through the Spirit is wisdom. The Spirit is demanding our... um undivided attention man undivided attention all right Yahweh Shai is on his way all right and the wisdom is is demanding more Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is demanding more all right I'm thinking about this song that um I'm thinking about this song that uh, Drake did. Uh, it goes, how about now? It says, you thought that little effort you put in was enough, girl. How about now? Right? You know, what kind of wife are we being, you know? And, um, you know, me reflecting, you know, I haven't been the best as of late. You know? So now I'm really in the mindset of really reflecting on where I've been going off and, um, you know, really trying to um, purge away superfluity. So, it's, you know, just pretty much get rid of the things that are not needed. The closer we enter, the, the more narrow this gate gets, the closer we get to the light at the end of the tunnel, more things have to remove be removed off our spiritual camel. Okay. Because you saw the light at the at the end of the tunnel, right? The closer you got to it, the more you realize that this exit, this entrance, this entrance, right? Whatever however you want to look at it, it's both. It's an exit and an entrance. It's an exit from this world and the entrance into the kingdom, right? All right. This exit or entrance and or right is smaller than we thought it looked it big you know and it might have been but then matter of fact let me um get a scripture on that this is second Ezra 7 and 1 and when i had made an end of speaking these words that were sent unto me the angel which had been sent unto me the night before and he said unto me up Ezra." And hear the words that I am come to tell thee. And I said, speak on my power. Then said he unto me, the sea is set in a wide place that it might be deep and great. But put the case, the entrance were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? All right. So, yeah, this entrance, um, you know, <laughs> it's, it's narrow and it's becoming more and more narrow. The gate is becoming more and more straight as we travel through. All right, you see all these men with wayward doctrine, all these dissimulators, and it's just making the, 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 the gate more straight. There is also another thing, a city is building is set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow and it, and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there was fire on the right hand and, and on the left a deep water. 
and one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. If the city now were given unto a man for an in inheritance, if he never shall pass through the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? Okay. So, yeah, man. The straight gate is 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 demanding us to 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 uh, dump more cargo, to 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 lay to uh, take off the things um, that are uh, heavy, all right, and weighing us down and slowing us down. And these things are not always easy to do, right? And I said, it is so, Lord. Then he said unto me, even so also is Israel's portion, because for their sakes I made the world, and when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was decreed that now is done. Then were the entrances of this world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of perils and very pitiful. Right? It was made narrow, <laughs> and it's becoming more and more narrow as we, hey man, it's like one of those movies, man, uh, uh, Indiana Jones, man, you know, the, the, the wall is coming down and, you know, you got, you know, the Indiana Jones, he'll, he'll like <laughs> have a split second before he could slide underneath that motherfucker, man. Yeah, the scripture says the righteous shall scarcely be saved, man. Which makes me think like, man, <laughs> you know, looking back at the footage and like, damn, you know, <laughs> I was playing too much, you know, <laughs> you know, Jake, 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 Jake play too much sometimes, man, you know, and we're not in that time, <laughs> you know, uh, we're in a time of entering into our chambers, you know, spiritually, which, you know, that scripture really means the chariots, but spiritually we're entering in our chambers and, you no, know, cutting off the world, man. You know, cutting off the world, man. You know, for the interests of the elder world were wide and sure and brought immortal fruit. Right. It was a wide. It was wide. It did at one time bring forth immortal fruit. <laughs> but when sin came into the world, that was that was it. <laughs> if then they that live live labor not to enter these straight and vain things they can never receive those things that are laid up for them all right so that's the you know that's the thing man that's the fight that's where we're at with it you know like it love it believe it or not that's where we're at and things have to be trimmed like the scriptures like the parable about the wise virgins what they trimmed their lamps all right, they trimmed their they trimmed their lamps. All right, they made themselves ready, you know. You know, and, and like the elder in um the Master Potts dream, you know, a lot of people were caught unawares, man. A lot of people were caught um with their pants down, so to speak. <laughs> All right. You know, and we don't want to be caught like that. That's why the Lord told us to watch. You know, we have to be watching uh, constantly on our watch, you know. All right. That's why we're here. We're on the watchtower, you know, and the Lord doesn't want us to forget that, especially as we see these days approaching. And becoming more and more closer. Shit is becoming crazy out here, man. Wild, man. You know. You know. Another thing that I'm beginning through the spirit is, you know, the Lord uh, really wants us as as a brotherhood to, you know, if we're able to be a part of a brotherhood, you know, that's the, you know, the Lord permits that, right? As the scripture says, this is what we do. If you how about me, I shall permit. But the spirit is telling me that the Lord wants us to, as the scripture says, gather yourself together, O nation, not desire. We're not in the time of the lone wolf spirit, going out and doing shit on your own, and you know, or, or, or thinking you could do it by yourself, and 
you know, that lone wolf spirit will get you killed. You know, you'll be torn to pieces, as the scripture says, as a bull straying alone. And, you know, sometimes the Lord will do drastic things to remind you of these things, lest they slip from your mind, you know, because that can't happen, you know. But if we be of that number, we're going to be all right, man. So you how about some y'all shot? We be of that number, man. And the scripture says, give diligence to make like calling and election sure, man. All right. What do you really desire, right? Because, hey, wisdom is like it unto a woman. And you can best believe, you know, as, as much shit we talk about women, right? And they, they, you know, things we say about them are true. They are stupid as hell for the most part. They are dumb. But one thing I can say about a woman is a woman does know when you don't want her ass, man. All right? A woman knows when she's not wanted. And she will leave. Even if she don't want to, she will leave. And um, that's wisdom. All right? So... You know, just a little self reflection that I and uh that I got, you know, from watching this video, man. You know, now is the time for us to um deep dive. All right. All right. Because um and you know, and the Lord's gonna chasten you, right? Lord willing we're chasten his sons and you know, because the scripture says the uh, Roughly paraphrasing, the wicked shall suffer the straight things and not see the wide, man. All right, so we get, we're hoping that we're being chastised to our salvation, you know. Whatever I got to go through personally, man, it is what it is, but I just hope it leads to salvation, and I hope that Yahweh Shah can greet me as a friend, all right, that I'm in the proper shape that he wants me to be in, on his return all right so yeah man you know i suggest you brothers uh you know watch the elder uh the master uh lesson i you know it was uh uh striking to my spirit and uh and, uh, and i've been sitting here wanting to do a lesson and that's what helped me um do that through the spirit so Hope this lesson was edifying and uh, shalom.